this is a first for me. This is a dual probe oven meat thermometer, and I've never used one of these before, and nor's my wife. So it's a first for me, and it's a first for her. And she said, when you finish the review, can I have it? <laughs> I went, yeah, of course you can, if you want it. So it comes in four different flavours or colours, orange, blue, red, and light green. It has, as it says on now, a three second or two to three second response time, a backlight, dual probe, dual probe, user defined alarm, recalibrated. Yeah, and it's got some, uh, apply the heat chart, it's got some interesting facts on the back of what I was about to say. Poultry, poultry stuffing, casseroles, reheat, leftovers, it gives you like a chart of where it should be on temperature when you're, say for instance, reheating something. Ground meats, beef, pork, lamb, veal, egg dishes, again, gives you an idea of what temperature it should be. And danger, danger zone, refrigerated temperature. I think mine's on minus 18. Do you know, I'm not refrigerator. Well, it says refrigerator. I was thinking of my freezer. I do apologise. Freezer, I know it says it's on 18. I will be testing it on my freezer, actually, just to see if what my freezer says is correct to what this says, or vice versa. Be interesting to find out. Also, I, can, I was thinking about trying it on my tea. Yeah, I've got a cup of tea. I thought, yeah, it'd be interesting as well, just to see what the temperature is. So uh, with that, let's get out of the box, see what you get for your money, and hopefully get some sort of instructions. So, what is this? Ah, meat, oh, it's folded. I thought it's like that, but it's folded. Let's have a look. Come on, come on, come on. Right. right, we have meat temperature guide. Ah, very handy. So it gives you a temperature guide. That is really good, because I wouldn't know what the temperature is supposed to be, and I'm guessing most of you don't. And then we have the user user manual. So I will read that, but I definitely need to read that. Like I said, I've never used one of these before. And it's got a bottle, bottle opener. I didn't notice that in the picture, actually. I just thought it was a different design. It's actually a bottle opener. That's very good. Takes batteries. Look at that. that. Oh, it's got batteries in it. So two treble A's. So in theory, that should be ready to go. What's this? Uh, oh, this is the second probe. Okay. So, like it does say, two probes. So I'm guessing that goes in there. Da, da, da. Plug that in there. Oh, it beeped. Right. Hang on. I'm going to try that in my tea. Let me undo that. Now, it's quite warm in here. I wouldn't say it's warm, warm. It's comfortably warm if I can get it open. How do I do this? Right, OK. Right, so, give me a second. And then we've got this probe. How's that come out? Does it just pop out? Oh, it does. Ooh, splash. Right, I am going to actually use this one first, providing I, I haven't got a knot. I want to see if it just works straight away. T, yeah, I know what someone's going to say. You should sterilise it first, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I wiped it. <laughs> right, T, what are we on? 72, 76 Fahrenheit, and voila. Oh, look at that shoot up. Right, you can change it from Fahrenheit to centigrade, and the light comes on. So it's at 49 Celsius, 50. Oh, that works really well and really easy. Let's see if they, this one does exactly the same. If I uh, unplug that, just, and it bleeps, just to see. Oh, you might not be able to see this one. Let's have a go. What have we got? Yeah, 52. Ah, so that does work. A slight difference, though, 53, but that might just be because I pushed it in further. Let's try it again. Go back to this one. Yeah, um, oh, I don't know, it's still going up. So 56.8, sorry, 52.8. I don't know where I got 56 from. Yeah, 
Interesting. Is that doing that one? I think it is, isn't it? Unplug that one. Yeah, it is. Right, so they are about the same. Temperature is roughly the same. 52.3. Yeah, I thought so. So if you plug that one in, it shuts that one down. I'm guessing. I might be totally wrong. Let's close that. What else do we have on here? Alarm settings. Hold. So I, I, I think, and I'm probably right here, that the hold is whatever temperature you're looking at, you press that and it will hold it to that temperature so you can look at it a little bit longer. I'm guessing. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hope, hopefully I'm right. <clears throat> so poultry, it says here poultry should be 165 Fahrenheit. Ground meat should be 160, excluding poultry. And then under there, what's that say? Well done, right, well done. Okay. Beef, lamb, pork, veal. So they should be in that range. 160 to 165, I'm guessing it's around that area, to be to be safe, to know it's well cooked inside. And then we've got, well done, thank you. Excluding poultry, anything excluding poultry. Medium, it should be 140 for fish. And medium rare should be 130. Now, is that for like, I don't know, steak? or fish, I don't know. Like I said, I will have to read the instructions, but so far, looks quite nice. It works straight out of the box, as you see. Battery's already included to get you going, and there's a little pull-off strip there. See that? So, again, we have, oh, it doesn't come on there, look. I broke it. Right, if I pull that out, right, okay. So that that turns on when that's out or when you plug that in. Yeah, right, alarm settings. So it's an alarm set assembly, so, ah, uh, right, for temperature. Okay, I see, I understand. Hold, hold, change to Fahrenheit. Yeah, centigrade. That's very easy to use, isn't it? And bottle opener. For when you're, uh, you know, when you're opening a, a bottle of Guinness or something like that to pour in your meat pie, or on top of your meat pie while you're cooking it, you know, for a bit of flavour, obviously. Yeah, so far so good. We're quite impressed. It looks very nice. It looks very professional. Oh yeah, see, we got that sussed. Clip that in. Bottle opener. Yeah, I like it. So far so good. What we need to do now is do some more testing, and that's what we are going to do right now. Right, we are doing a freezer test, and we're using this probe because I'm going to shut the door when I put the probe in, and it should be okay, in theory, it should be. So, we're at 18 Celsius on the freezer, like I said earlier, and the probe itself is at 20.7 plus Celsius, yeah? And we're going to test it right now. So I'm going to open the door, stick it in the freezer. It says it takes two to three minutes, doesn't it? So stick it in there somewhere and uh, shut the door. Should be all right. And we will see what happens. Can you see that? I think you can. A few moments later. Right, to be fair, I did stop the video because I thought it was going to take a bit of time, which it did. It took a couple of minutes at least, or well, two to three, something around there. But it's still wind now, and it's at 18.3 Celsius. So, yeah, pretty accurate. And also, something else you need to bear in mind, it's not really designed for freezers. It's meant to do cooked food. It's meant to do the other end, heated. So yeah, 18.3 or 18.6 now, still going down. So yeah, the freezer's about right and so is this. Yeah, very good. Now we need to do some cooked food, don't we? Marilyn, what should the temperature be? 74, 75. Right, and we are at about 58, 60. Let's get in there. 
that way I have to turn the cooker down a little bit, otherwise they're going to burn. Seventy, seventy-three, seventy-four. They're there. Seventy-five. And that one is seventy, seventy-one to seventy-four, seventy-five. That's it. So they're, that means they're cooked. Um, the yeah. So now, what should the temperature be for the burger? Seventy-four Celsius. There you go, 74. So uh, what temperature should it be at? 74 centigrade. Right. And it's at 70? Yep. So it wants another, what, four? Well, that one's up the temperature. Sixty-nine. Oh, well, that's up the temperature. I'm just going to burn it off. Sure. Yeah. Ah, so that works fine, doesn't it? Yep. Right. Before I tell you what I think about it, let's go through some of the features that this has that I haven't already talked about because. It's got some features you might find very interesting. So first things first, the meat temperature guide, I found that very useful. And my wife, of course, she found it very useful. It gives you a good bit of information, tells you what your temperature should be. And we tried it out on sausages, and we tried it out on burgers. And I must admit, I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but I said to her, when I had the burger, it just tasted so much nicer. It could have just been a weird fluff sort of thing, but it definitely, to me, tasted better. And I think it's because it was cooked inside rather than just on the outside. So something to bear in mind. Also, the guide or the manual on the other side. Again, easy to read, easy to understand. I found that very easy. I didn't read about the calibration, but again, I would imagine that's quite easy to do. Didn't need to read it, so I didn't read it. Now let's go through some of the features that are actually on this device. Say for instance a hold button, which I did mention earlier, and that is what it does. It holds whatever temperature it's reached, you press that and it holds it. So you can write it down if you needed to. The temperature from centigrade to Fahrenheit, I did mention that earlier as well. You can just press that by a button and it just rolls over. Now then, the alarm thing. I didn't go into this bit, did I? But I found this very useful and I'll show you in a second. So I'm just going to scroll through it. So alarm set is at 74 as you see. If you just press it once and release, it shows you whatever one you're on. Oh yeah, there's more than one. <laughs> it will show you the temperature that that's set for. So press it twice, comes up beef, and beef is at 68. Press it again, twice. Lamb, because it goes off. Chicken, yeah, pork. See, I didn't know all this was on it, and this is for manually setting the temperature. So if you want to set your own temperature, you can. So on this one, where it is now, to set your own temperature, all you need to do is hold the button down, and it'll bleep. Now you can turn it up by pressing the top button, or if you want to go down temperature, you press the hold button, and it goes down. I thought, ah, that's really handy. So I'm going to set it back to 74 because I found that perfect for burgers and perfect for sausages. So set it on 74, you know, flash it, just press that again, and that is set. Now if you want to check it, just press it once, release, set, there you go, set for 74. Yeah, very good. I didn't use the bottle opener. I didn't use this probe, I used this one, well, my wife did. She used this probe. She just found it more convenient. I mean, I can understand why people would use this one because all we go is like that. But the thing is, if you're doing what we were doing, we were doing some frying, you know, frying sausages, frying bacon, and frying uh, burgers. 
Yeah, I didn't check. I didn't check the temperature on the bacon because I didn't know what it was meant to be, and it's quite thin anyway. So it should just really cook, shouldn't it? But yeah, didn't want to use this because didn't want fat going all over the actual dial and that. So we found it very useful to use this. That way, it keeps the display away from the cooking, which I found very helpful. And the other thing, I had to explain to my wife. Don't put it all the way through because all you're doing is going through the meat onto the bottom of the pan <laughs> and you're getting the temperature for that. The idea behind it is you go halfway through the meat to get the middle of the meat and to find the temperature of what's in the middle. And the other thing she, that she kept on doing that I had to stop her from doing was she'd, she'd poke it in, say, like the sausages and I'd read out a display and then she'd take it out and put it in somewhere else in the sausages. No, just leave it in the middle and give it time to come up with the accurate reading to what it is. And it does take a little bit of time. It says, I think it said something about three seconds to get the accurate time. And one more thing, it's not really designed for freezers. I wanted to try it on a freezer to see how close it was to 18 Celsius. And yeah, very good. Very impressed with it. Very impressed with all of it. Can't believe they actually stuck a bottle open on the bottom. I thought that was really good. Yeah, so with that, it definitely gets my thumbs up. Easy to use, easy to understand whether you're reading this or whether you're going by a display on it. I found it extremely easy and she wants to keep it. I'm sorry, but we're not selling it. We're keeping this one. She likes it and she's finding it very useful. I like the little bleep as well. So this stays on all the time when you pull this out. So if you want the battery to last a long time, you must make sure you put it back into the home position. Or if you're using this, make sure you unplug it because it will stay on all the time it's plugged in. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, that's how it works. So yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. I'm well impressed with it. For what it costs, don't forget, link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. For what it costs, yeah, well worth it. Never had one before. Or never have one at home anyway. So yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments whether it gets your thumbs up. If it does, make sure you click on the little thumbs up button for me, please. Thank you very much. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever and it does help my channel to keep on growing. Thank you very much for watching.